In this video, we're going to share with you that what you can expect in the Pink Dot 14, right? Yeah, the 14. Yeah. So it is this year 2022. Two. So uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you that the book, that oh my god, it's a lot of people now. Oh, wow. So I have to come early and then I'm um, going to share with you more as we can, uh, what you're supposed to do, where you can uh, expect. Mm. And Pink Dot is a place, an event that's supporting freedom to love. Yeah. So you can see so many people that actually that are doing oh my god. big support. The queue is okay, super long. Okay, I think we should go for that side. Yeah, the queue is super long. So we actually walk from the MRT station all the way here in front of the Park Royal Hotel. And then we are going to queue in. So tips for you to uh, join this uh, meaningful event. Come early. Then you can have more time to explore the booth. Just right over there. The queue is super, super long. We queue about 20 minutes. And then finally, we are here. So remember, come over here. Do not bring any sharp object. And then uh, currently, you need your trace together your IC to scan the in to enter this park usually we come early but this year we decided to come slightly later and uh, kind of regret now <laughs> so this is the very first booth that we can see during the queue it looks like a photo booth that you can take photo and uh, send the photo I guess so come early then you can have a more chance to explore around the booth easier you can bring a lot of food a lot of drink and a pet and your loved one and your friend your families all this uh, just make sure that if you bring any food you have to clear after the event and I'm going to show you a lot of the dog a lot of the pet yeah you also can bring your baby here yeah it's gonna be fun and I see look so let's keep on moving. Let's go run! Whee! Okay. The event is starting soon and then everyone's uh, rushing out now. So remember to show the trace together. Show your eye now. So bring some cash and then sometimes uh, we can uh, purchase some of the product from them to show your support. And what else you can get over here? I think a lot of photo booth station over here and video booth. And what else? Oh, so that's a card for you to pledge. Okay, keep on walking and you will have a very beautiful entrance uh, to welcome you. So, uh, and there's one more thing that you have to check your bag. So remember, do not bring any sharp object. So you can uh, let the security do screen faster for you. That is the most beautiful entrance to welcome you uh, from, uh, for this finger event. And then you also can get this uh, card to pledge. You want to get a card? Okay, let's do from it. From the gentleman? Oh, uh, or we can go to the booth. Yeah, just go under the booth over here first. Then, so there's a place card and a postcard station. This way. And the very first thing that if you come over here, toilet is very limited, it's just right over there. We will try our best to uh, get the. Hi! Okay! Okay! Oh, Sean! Together! So let's see what Sean can uh, write on. <laughs> The change we want to see. Come over here to join the activity. Show your support as well. So let's see what Sean wants to change. We'll do our very best to show you around and then show me your pledge. Praise the love, there's hope. Let's go. Where there's love, there's hope. Thank you. Hi. So let's keep walk around and see there is a play card balloon blaster and then uh, the community tents yeah so uh, there are all the support groups and societies that are um, LGBTQIA plus friendly Hi. nope thank you so for example you have like the Humanist Society Singapore Project X and then uh, there's also T Project which is in front of me here Trans Befrienders so there are a variety all the way until over there yeah that's a Miss Chili right at the front on the left right? oh yeah 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 uh, our friend so that's June the the founder of the T project just show your logo T 
Jeez. Continuing with the rest of the community tent, so there are like, oh, there's even men's chorus and out in Singapore, which is a society that they organize a lot of events, like sporting events and stuff like that. And then there's a greenhouse, so I believe it's like a halfway house, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and then there's uh, Uka Jaka, which, um, which we know the founder also, Ellen, right? Ellen. Yeah, and then there's Palangi Pride Centre, Proud. So, um, along the way, uh, in recent years, um, a lot of new societies actually sprouted out in Singapore in support of like the LGBTQIA plus community. And there's even like those support groups in the uh, university campus as well. For example, Students for a Safer NUS, and then there's Inter University. The LGBT network too. Okay, hang on. I need to talk about the toilet. Let me go over there first. So uh, this event is really open for everyone. So this is for those like uh, someone need a uh, special attention. And these are the toilet area. So if you are going to the toilet, that is the one over there, or there are the temporary setup toilet over there. Usually, it's very very long queue, and uh, we recommend you to stay hydrated, but try yourself to uh, uh, also try to uh, endure endure your <laughs> or maybe you can wear the uh, adult diaper. Oh, yeah. So what we are going to do is that we're going slightly inside a little bit, so hopefully we can see our friend. Yep. Yeah. Let's keep on walking. Walk, walk, walk. And don't worry that uh, your outfit. Try to uh, dress up as you can. <laughs> yeah. We are not in pink ourselves. <laughs> we have some pink. Only pink unicorn. Yeah. So let's keep moving and then the performance start already. Yeah. So I'm not sure what song is that. Uh, a lot of like local talents. So just now we have the Tim Sum Dolly who are like very famous uh, maybe about 20 years ago. <laughs> Three of them are very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, it's a sea of pink that is in front of us where you are looking at right now. So, usually people gather here early for like picnics to catch up with friends. It's very loud here. If you enjoy loud music, go to the front. So, here is all the pink crowd. So, everyone are very well behaved. So, hopefully, uh, if you see yourself, say hello in the video. So, we are going to the front now. It has been three years. Uh, thank you all for showing up, wearing pink, and being here. This means the world to like everyone else who is here. So, thank you. Thank 
of something significant. The government has said it's going to review 377A. The majority of Singaporeans no longer support criminalization of gay men. Call that low-hanging fruit, but let's take it. Yeah. <laughs> and soon, the choice will be before Parliament again, and there will be two options. Do we want to continue being held hostage to a moral minority that gets weirdly triggered by cartoon characters kissing? <laughs> or are we going to start taking that first step into making a reality of the pledge to build a democratic society based on justice and equality? Any day of the year, I choose equality now! But what does repealing 377A mean? 
I'll tell you what it means for me. I came out when I was 30 years old. Uh, my friends told me gay life ends at 21. Uh, fortunately, that's not true. And I spent a lot of years running and hiding from who I am. And a lot of us still do in some way, shape, or form. We hide, we hide in the workplaces, we hide to our families, and we have to hide to our loved ones. And this hurts. And that's because laws like 377A, they do something to us. They gaslight us. They gaslight us. We've been there before, right? Gaslighting requires us to accept as a truth something that we inherently know is wrong. 377A asks us to accept that a relic of colonial history birthed in 1938 is the last best defense for Asian values. In a country that compares itself to New York and Hong Kong, we censor cartoons <laughs> like the most conservative of religious countries. And this gaslighting requires us and asks us to accept as normal a truth we know is not correct. And so today we look around us and we affirm that there is nothing abnormal about our love. in the thousands and we look ahead to the future. If we see far, it's because we stand on the shoulders of queer Singaporeans who have come before us. These are queer Singaporeans who fought for NGOs to exist for gay people at a time when the police was raiding gay clubs. These are the queer Singaporeans who spoke out against medical discrimination at a time of a very different epidemic. And these are the queer Singaporeans who challenged the law in Parliament and those who stood up as plaintiffs to sue our government in court. So we stand here today because many before us have fought our community has fought. We fought to exist, we fought to be seen, and we will fight always to be equal. In a lot of ways, what happens in Parliament when 377A is debated is beside the point. If 377A is repealed, it is the beginning of a long fight for equality. Because discrimination, discrimination did not start with 377A and it will not go away when it's repealed. We need to carry that fight 
forward. And what that means is we need to fight discrimination in our schools. That's right. We need to fight discrimination against queer people in housing policy. We need to fight for media representation. <laughs> and even in our own communities, we need to fight discrimination against racial minorities. And we need to fight the stigma of those who still live with us and live with HIV. We look past in a lot of ways 377A. We stand here today and we look to the future. We reject the gaslighting narrative that we know is not true. And beyond the law, I conclude, I ask you, look around you. Look at the love our community is capable of. Hold the hands of your partners, your family, our chosen family. What can be more normal than this love? <laughs> and today, we celebrate this love. We celebrate it confident in the knowledge that we are on the right side of history. And tomorrow, my friends, the fight for equality continues. Thank you.
But you know, despite all that, I'm still convinced and optimistic that there are people out there who has the capacity to be compassionate, empathetic, and also and also be acceptance. For example, like the hijabis out here. malicious, someone that's malicious, someone that has misconceptions. Well, we are not. And you may have been living in a generation or a lifestyle that's different from us. But you know what? This is the time when we should sit together and have a dialogue, have a conversation. It's time for us to change. It has to start right now. I know, I know that it is not easy. And I know it is not comfortable. I've been there, I know it's not easy, it's tough. But we got to have this courage to be brave to be open, let us tell our story to you, all cautious people, let us. And the change that I want to see, for there to be true equality and progress in Singapore, we have yet to achieve that progress as yet, no, for far too long. We have been held back because of the ignorance and fear that we have. Too many people don't know who we are. And too many people still afraid to know who we are. So it is time, people. It is time we cultivate the courage and enlighten them. And tell them that we are not here to threaten their beliefs and existence. So, what does National Anthem say? <laughs> yes! Majula Singapura! Majula means onwards. It beckons us to progress together. Oh, as the layman was saying, come on now, let's get on with it, man. So, let us all say, Majula Singapura! Thank you. Thank you. In 2011, that was 11 years ago, I was a flag bearer standing next to the dim sum dollies on this stage and at that time I thought about the Shan from 10 years before that. The Shan that didn't know there was anyone like me out there, let alone 10,000 people. The Shan that attempted to take his life, the Shan that battled with those thoughts every day. Look, 11 years has passed, things have definitely changed. But the things that bother me are the things that didn't change at all. In March of this year, we lost a young trans man to suicide. Keegan was just 21 years old. And he was a brave young man with dreams. One of those dreams was to become a counselor at the T project and that's how we knew him. He was brave. Some of you may know him as the guy who actually had a dialogue with his MSP.
During one of our workshops at the Deep Project, we asked how many people had lost someone to, to suicide, and everyone put up their hands. At our counseling at Deep Project, 50% have attempted suicide, and another 50% had active suicide ideations. We know that being discriminated against and feeling like outsiders is a large reason for this. But why is it still happening? If we know now that there are so many of us out there, why do so many people still feel so alone? Do we truly support each other? Or do we continue to hurt each other because of differences in sexual orientation, gender identity, and differences in the color of our skin. In this crowd, standing next to you, might be a trans person struggling with their mental health. Society has ignored them, their schools have failed them, families turn their backs on them. If we don't change the way that we acknowledge everyone in this community, they may not be here next year. This is the change I want to see. A society that values the lives of minorities like us, that supports us and helps us thrive, not one that fails us by shunning us. It doesn't matter if you're gay, bi, trans, straight. This isn't a problem that isn't going away without change from all of us. Take a moment to remind yourself why we are one community. Because at some point, we've all felt like we didn't belong. I plead to every one of you to think about what I'm saying. We need change now. Take action, big or small, and keep making change happen. Thank you.
I've still got a lot of fighters to see. Okay, good. Uh, now we do more complex. We move in a circle. Much stronger. And deeper minds. And deeper Very good. Did you have fun? Yes, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had to record uh, our closing over here because it was uh, quite uh, noisy mm. at the site. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, for this year, it's quite something different. They Usually, we have the pink color torch light to shine. Yeah. But this year, we have the it's a day, day light. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> because a day. they thought something yeah, yeah, interesting, yeah, something right. different. Mm. It's like um, all the performers, like, they sing quite well. They The, the drag show, the dance yeah. are like really, really hip. And it was quite surprising that the turnout was really yeah. a huge turnout, a lot, I would lot, say. Yeah. Uh, lots of supporters. Uh, and then um, I think a lot of people, they are just over there having a lot of fun, uh, being entertained by the performance. And also, I think the highlight would be the speech by some Very of touching. the... Yeah, by lawyer, by uh, some of the activists, by the people who are pro uh, pro. Uh, LGBTQIA plus, I would say, yeah. So, um, and then um, the, of course, the the forming of the pink dot is like the most fun part of it all. Uh, yeah. The countdown queen is still very very active. Yeah. 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 So the tips for you that um. To attend this pink dot, you really need to come early and have some food. Uh, although I can see a lot of people like still eating a lot, like eating non-stop, drinking a lot. But uh, most of the people they really take their pack their trash away. But for us, we actually uh, have a light lunch at the uh, uh, somewhere the nearby. Central Clark Key yeah. Central. And, and we didn't drink a lot. We have we bring a uh, drinking water, but we did not drink a lot, so we don't really need a toilet break. So I think this is a very good thing that uh, try not to drink too much to enjoy the, <laughs> the so you don't have to like you know push your way through the crowd to go and queue up at the toilet which is at one corner so and for for those that love to watch performance you have to really go near to the stage and a lot of people they really are blocking your view so go to the front then you can really enjoy more uh, of the performers then usually uh, the countdown and then uh, they will be uh, ah, yeah sorry uh, anywhere is, anyone is fine yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, after that, you go. You request to go out to have a uh, to shine the black card or the torchlight. Mm. So yeah, yep. uh, very interesting because uh, I was sharing with Jim that you know uh, at such events we feel like we are getting older <laughs> because we see but, a lot of young. But this ones event open to coming. everyone, straight, gay, yeah. old, young, or uh, even yeah, animal yeah, can so, come. So, so it's just like come and join this uh, event uh, as long as you are. Singaporean and a permanent resident. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's just a video to share our experience at Ping Dot 14. And if you happen to be interested we to can, attend Ping Dot 15, you we, can sorry. consider. <laughs> we can really see that a lot of people are supporting the freedom to love. So yeah. I hope that everyone will support each other. And with that, yep. Good. With that, happy Ping Dot. Happy Ping Dot. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.